Mark and Veronica. How does using OpenDNS.com work? And is using it more or less secure than not using it? I know that the internet content filtering works well, but I'm concerned about security. Thanks, Don in Painted Post, New York. That's an awesome name for a town. Painted Post? Painted Post. It reminds me of like the like old timey, like, right. I don't know, Tombstone. like mail couriers going through <laughs> on horses. I've been playing too much Red Dead. You have been. Anyway, <laughs> let's start by explaining the domain name system or a DNS system. Uh, those are servers that act as the phone book for the internet by translating host names like www.texola.com into the IP address that your browser actually uses to communicate with a server. Because, you know, 74.125.43.104 is a lot harder to remember than google.com. Most of the time, your DNS server is assigned by your ISP, and most folks never really need to think about it. You can, however, change your DNS server on individual machines or at your router, for example. That might make for faster DNS lookup times. Uh, we're talking milliseconds here for most folks, so don't get too excited. <laughs> that said, some DNS servers are ridiculously bad, yes. and moving to a better DNS server can make your browsing experience to betters. Yes, in a big way, actually. Security, which you asked about, is the other reason folks move to open DNS. It autocorrects spelling errors, flags phishing sites and botnets, offers the ability to block or filter unwanted websites, and quite a bit more. It can also block proxy setups or anonymizers. That might be useful if you're a business and don't want the people at the office accessing the Facebooks, or if you have a crafty teenager in the house who you don't want accessing the Facebooks. <laughs> <laughs> Facebooks with all those privacy concerns. Oh, boy. Um, open DNS generates revenue in part, by the way, by redirecting your browser to a specific phase. It's basically, instead of giving you a 404 because that URL doesn't exist, it dumps you onto some page that they usually pump advertising on. It gives them an opportunity to well, post advertising. It's not that unusual for a free DNS service, and it's it's actually pretty common on a lot of uh, uh, ISPs to actually do that. Hmm. They sort of automatically dump you instead of basically being like, 404, pace I found, or whatever particular code that it's going to throw up at you. Is that kind um, of like domain name squatters? Like when they, they, they take a, a domain name that's similar to a legit domain name and then just post ads all over it? I don't think it's quite that obnoxious. It's different. Okay. But it's, it's, let, let's just say they're all over on that side of the Internet. It, personally, it doesn't, you know, it that doesn't really bother That douchey side of me. the Internet. Well, <laughs> I, I wouldn't call OpenDNS. I'm not saying I don't. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry, OpenDNS. <laughs> but if you move to OpenDNS Deluxe, which costs ten dollars a year for home users, um, you'll get no advertisements, no douchey advertisements, <laughs> and a whitelist mode that only allows access to sites you put on the list. Which could be highly useful if you have a teenager or you're running a small business. I've used OpenDNS on and off for years. Uh, off usually when I forget to put it on my router. On when I do. I'm not too concerned about anybody gathering DNS lookup information from my home network because I'm pretty sure somebody's already using all that information somewhere for something because they'll either get it from my ISP or if you, you, you just, you know, th there's a lot of alternative DNS systems out there. Google Public DNS, Ultra DNS, DIN Guide, quite a few more. If you're mostly interested in performance, you might want to download and run NameBench. It's free. It's hosted on code.google.com slash p slash NameBench. And judging by the results I've gotten on it, it pretty much has no bias towards Google's oh, public DNS. Because invariably, one or two others always end up faster than them. Yeah. It pretty much benchmarks a bunch of DNS servers against your current DNS and looks at how they handle different strange activities and then tells you which DNS service is the fastest. It gives you the min and max lookup time range, information about the service, such as if it does NX domain hijacking, which is the really cool guy way of saying post advertisements at a page if the URL you typed in doesn't exist. Um, dude, hope this helps you out. Don. I, I would experiment with OpenDNS, see if you like it. Try out NameBench, see if there's other ones you like more. Um, you know, people, I, most of the people I know do it because um, it's faster or because they're having issues with their current DNS uh, system. So I hope the ISP. weather is nice in Painted Post. Painted Post. You're not going to shoot anything in Painted Post, are you? Pew, pew. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption meets Painted Post. Pew, pew.